Hi, in this video, we're briefly going to compare these two coffee makers. So on my left here, we have the AeroPress coffee maker. This makes a single cup of wonderful coffee. I will briefly explain how to use it in this video. It's very easy to use and it makes wonderful coffee. On my right here, we have the Grosh six cup aluminum coffee maker. This is typically what I use because it makes a lot more coffee. Very powerful device and super easy to use. Let me just briefly explain how to use it so you know what you're getting in this video. So you unscrew it like this, okay? That's where the coffee goes. You can see I haven't really cleaned it. And you fill it with water up until this line. You close it, put your coffee in there, close it, set it on your stove top and turn it on. I usually do high. As soon as you hear the coffee start to come out, turn off the burner and let it sit. Then you'll know the coffee is done when the sound stops. Like once you feel like it's, the sound is really slowed down and it stopped, then you can take it off the burner. But again, as soon as you hear that sound, turn the burner off and then let it sit for a little while. Because if you leave the burner on, it will burn the bottom. I have destroyed several coffee makers uh, over the course of my life by leaving the burner on. Then you pour out the coffee and you're good to go. This one is made of aluminum, which is considered typical. Most of these are made of aluminum, uh, and it is a six cup coffee maker. On my left, we have the AeroPress, and let me show you how to use this one. This makes a cup of wonderful coffee. So it will only make one cup, but it's really, really good coffee. So let me show you how to use it. So you basically take this, and you put a filter in. See this filter I've put in here? These are filters that uh, are disposable. So you use one filter per cup, you screw it onto the bottom like this, all right? And then you take your cup, I've got a cup here. You put this on here, you pour the coffee in there, the coffee grounds, you pour boiling water in there, you mix it, it gives you a nice mixer, and then you press with the presser. And it makes one cup of wonderful coffee and magic, you have an incredible cup of coffee. It is so good, it is incredible. I cannot describe how good the coffee is. And I think that's the reason, that's the reason the AeroPress uh, is, is so popular because it makes such good coffee. The big con, in my opinion, of the AeroPress, the thing I don't like about it is that it only makes one cup. So I'm a person that typically has more than one cup of coffee, so typically I'll have this. At the same time, if I put a lot of espresso coffee, like a lot, and I make one cup, I'm good, I'm good. If I put like a couple spoonfuls of like espresso, finely ground espresso, and I use the AeroPress, I feel pretty good and that's enough coffee for me. Whereas this one, I have to drink the entire pot to get the equivalent effect from the coffee. But both great coffee makers. Um, I recommend both. I bought both. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.